You have now tuned in to Sir Inc.'s The Experience Podcast, where we talk about anything and everything kink. Now, this podcast is catered to those that are 18 and above, and if you're at work, we like to say N-S-F. But remember, you can always listen to us during your private time. Hello, kinky and kinkers folk out there. My name is Sir A, your host, your guide into the experience. Here's a little thought for you. It's a little slight discussion, but it's a thought. Through me, I hope you will see. Through me, I hope you will see. What do I mean by this phrase? When you're taking on someone and you're telling them where you're going with your life and how you see someone being a part of that, I hope you will see yourself through me. That's my other part to that. Yourself through me. What made me think of that? What makes me think of that is how a lot of submissive women want to give themselves to a man, give themselves to a dominant man and through him and where he wants to go in his life, they see themselves in that. They see that the goals that they have for themselves and ones that they never even thought they would accomplish can be accomplished with this man. So through me, I hope you will see yourself. Relationships are true reflections of ourselves, whether it be temporary or long-term. Relationships a reflection of ourselves and not just love relationships relationships in general are reflections of yourself the things that you don't like in your friends are things that you don't like about yourself the things that you admire about your friends i think are qualities that you admire about yourself or ones that you lean on them for strength example you may not be a patient person But you have a person in your life that's very patient, whether that be uh, parental, sibling, friend, lover, etc. Right. And when you're going through a turbulent time or you're going through a situation and you know that situation requires what you have less of, which is patience. Right. You get on the phone and call that person or you send them a text or you send them an email or you communicate and they'll send you something back. Uh you know, some kind of phrase, a conversation or a talking point or a picture or something. But whatever that is, it gives you their energy. It gives you more patience because that's what relationships are. Remember, I always say relationships are recyclable. You know, they're recyclable. Like what you give, you may, I may bring fire to someone and they may bring calm to me, right? So whenever they need that pickup, they'll hit me. Whenever I need that cool out, I'll hit them. See how that works? Relationships are recyclable. They're cyclical in this way. Um, They flow. Maybe cyclical is not the word I want, really. Uh, But they flow like that. You know, it's 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 a selfless give and take. And there are times when one may lean on the other one may lean more on the other, but that's fine because we all have situations in life and periods in our life where we need something that someone brings more than the other person. You can have multiple friends and there are times where you'll need, you know, John more than you need um, Sam. You know, you may need Patricia more than you need Tanya, you know, Um, Whatever the case may be, um, you just need to lean on different people for different things. And that's okay. And when relationships flow, ebb and flow, you give freely. You receive freely. It doesn't feel like a burden. When it feels like a burden, that means you're not, it's not that the person is asking 
for something that you can bring to them. But it, but they have no way of showing the gratitude that fills that bucket of whatever you gave them back. You know, if a friend does something for me and there's no real way I can really repay them for what they've done, uh, I would at least try to get them their favorite bottle of liquor or, you know, a, a gift card, something of that nature or something, whatever is that, whatever their hobby or the thing is, I will try to, you know, contribute to that or at worst, you know, cook them a meal or get, you know, some food, uh, something that shows that you appreciate what they've done for you. Even if it's a straight heartfelt email or text message, like, listen, uh, I just love you and appreciate you for what you do for me. There's, you know, there's no way I can really repay you or say thank you enough. You know, you can even say, look, when I get back on my feet, you know, it's going to, you know, I'm going to make this right. I'm going to make a whole, I'm, you know, and, and a lot of times people that are givers, they don't really need anything back. Right. But it's still cool to acknowledge that what they bring is not taken for granted. What they bring, you don't see as an endless source of information or energy or love or whatever the case may be, whatever it is, you don't feel like, you know, you make, you let them know that you don't take that for granted and you know that they don't have to do that for you. You know, that state of humbleness is great. And so back to my original point, I hope you see yourself through me. Through me, I hope you will see yourself. I hope you will see possibilities. I hope you will add to those possibilities. Relationships are truly reflective. And so even if it's a situation where it's just a friendship or just having sex, but y'all comfortable with one another, but you know, a relationship really, eh, but you still want to bring value to the situation as an appreciation of, look, I know this is what we do, but you know, um, if you need me, I'll be there for you. You know, I'll help you whichever way I can, you know, within some reason, of course. But, you know, it's all about how you see relationships in general in your life. You know, as a man, I always want the relationships in my life to be uh, give and take. Um, and I know if I have someone who has less than me or someone that's younger, that it's going to be more me pouring more into them, which is fine. As long as they're in an open position to be poured into it and not be selfish and not try to just, you know, not try to tell me what I need to pour or how I need to pour it. See, that's the selfish shit that I can't get with. But either way, you know, I want to know that I help make someone's life better. Period. If we're in each other's lives, how can I help you live a more comfortable life? How can we maximize our time together, have the best of times or constructive time? You know, it could be a business relationship. Well, how can we be more productive? And not get distracted by the noise, you know, and how can I help you be better at this so we can be better together in this business venture? You know, I had those kind of situations in my life. So it's not just dominant to submissive per se. That is very true in this conversation. However, it can be just, you know, business relationships too. Like through me, I hope you see the possibilities of reaching other levels, you know, the possibilities, you know, with me, through me, you know, you want to be in situations where everybody benefits, everybody wins, you know, um, like I told you guys before, my friend, uh, her name is Ro Cutno. She wrote a book called uh, Men Lead, Women Follow, Everyone Wins, you know, that's it. As a man, you must lead. Through you, she may see the possibilities. And when she sees the possibilities through you, she's more open and submissive to you. What are your thoughts, guys? 
You guys know where to reach me, sir inq.com, sir inq on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and check me out on kingspace.net. Also, I'm on YouTube. So I holla at your boy. I'm out here. I'm out here. I'm glad to be back doing podcasts. A lot of thoughts in my head. So I will be dropping these uh, a couple times a week. As you see, this is a short but sweet uh, cast. But I hope you enjoy. And um, I like to get some more guests on. Uh, I may have... I have a few people in mind. I will try to line them up and get them done. If not, you guys will be just hearing more topics from me and responding to questions that I've gotten in my direct messages um, of things that are listening. So, ink out.